Hi everyone, I'm Mike Ranieri from Dell with another Redfish School video. In this video, we'll be going over conformance testing with Redfish. In this video, we'll begin with an overview of conformance testing, then show the prerequisites to performing testing, followed by three different test tools available today. The Redfish Protocol Validator, the Redfish Service Validator, and the Redfish Interop Validator. Lastly, we'll provide links to the various projects on GitHub for these tools. The Redfish Forum publishes specifications that contain requirements for Redfish services. For example, DSP 0266 contains the protocol requirements for Redfish, and DSP 8010 contains the standard data model definitions. Redfish service designers are expected to implement their services according to these requirements and definitions. DMTF provides conformance tools to verify that Redfish services are conformant with DMTF specifications in addition to third-party prescriptions. The Redfish conformance tools published by DMTF all require Python 3. The three tools in this video can be installed from the Python package index with pip from the command line. You would use pip install redfish protocol validator dash u, pip install redfish service validator dash u, and pip install redfish interop validator dash u. New versions of these tools are released periodically to provide bug fixes and new features. The dash u argument with pip will apply updates to installed packages, so you can reuse these uh, previous commands to also update your tools. If you'd like to see other demonstrations, Open Compute Project's Conformance to OCP Hardware Profiles YouTube video might be of interest. The Redfish Protocol Validator tests a service for the protocol requirements defined in the Redfish specification. Some examples include verifying the HTTP semantics for headers, status codes, and methods, uh, verifying that response and request bodies are handled properly, and verifying that Redfish security requirements are met. To run the Redfish Protocol Validator, you would use the following from the command line. RF Protocol Validator with your username, password, service address, and no cert check. The, the no cert check argument is recommended to bypass self-signed certificate errors that can happen when setting up a connection with a Redfish service. After a few minutes, an HTML file containing a test report is written to the, re to the results subdirectory. This is a sample test report for the Redfish protocol validator that you would find in the results subdirectory. On the left are, is the summary of the test report that describes the service that was found and the overall test results for the service. On the right, we see a snippet of a section of the report that shows different tests that were performed on the service. In this uh, example here, we see at the top that it's uh, performing tests to verify that the HTTP post get patch and delete methods were all implemented. And we see from the, uh, from the different rows beneath that, uh, it was able to mark each of those tests as pass, meaning that the service supported those methods. The Redfish Service Validator tests all resources on a service against the schema definitions in the Redfish Schema Bundle. If OEM extensions are found on the Redfish service, it will also attempt to locate the OEM schema definitions and validate the OEM extensions against those schema files. To run the Redfish Service Validator, you would run the following from the command line rf service validator with your redfish username, password, and service address. After a few minutes, an HTML file containing a test report is written to the logs subdirectory. This is a sample test report for the redfish service validator. On the left, there's a summary that describes the service that was tested and the overall test results. The snippet on the right shows a sample test result for a single resource in the report. It contains the URI tested, a summary of the test results for the URI and individual test entries for all properties in the resource. Every URI in the service will have a report like this. In this example, we see a port resource, and we also see that properties like odata.id is passing and other properties like function min bandwidth are marked as not tested because they're optional in the, in the payload. The Redfish Interop Validator tests the service for the requirements specified in a Redfish profile. 
Redfish profiles are created by organizations, customers, or other third parties to ensure a minimum set of the Redfish data model is supported. This includes specifying expected resources, properties, and actions. These requirements go beyond the minimum Redfish requirements specified by DMTF. The Open Compute Project publishes profiles that contain manageability requirements for various classes of OCP products. The Open Group's Open Process Automation Form has a set of profiles containing Redfish requirements to, in to integrate systems into their industrial process automation environments. And OpenStack publishes profiles that contain requirements for integration with their bare metal provisioning software, Ironic. Redfish profiles are JSON documents that follow a format defined in the Redfish interoperability profile specification. To run the Redfish interop validator, you would run the following from the command line. RF interop validator with your username, password, service address, and the file path to the profile to test against. After a few minutes, an HTML file containing a test report is written to the log subdirectory. This is a sample test report for the Redfish interop validator. On the left, there's a summary that describes the service that was tested and the overall test results. On the right, there's a sample snippet of the tests that were performed on each of the resources in the service. This snippet showing the results for an Ethernet interface resource at the URI shown at the top of the screen, and it shows each of the properties that passed and failed. What we see here is that the profile specifies properties like MAC address is required, and we see that it was found in the response, but another property like Ethernet interface enabled is missing from the response and is marked as a failure. All conformance tools are available on GitHub under the DMTF GitHub organization at github.com slash DMTF with the project names Redfish Protocol Validator, Redfish Service Validator, and Redfish Interop Validator. If you find bugs, have an idea for a new feature, or other questions about the tool, you can file an issue on the tool's respective GitHub page. Contributions are also welcome, so feel free to fork the, each of the projects and make pull requests back into the, uh, into the main project. Thank you for watching. More information can be found on dmtf.org or you could also visit the Redfish Developer Hub at redfish.dmtf.org.